everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. I am the best guy ever, and today we're joined by an illustrious cast of goons and scoundrels. First up, <coughs> Ben Saint. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sick because my body has been neglected. It's wasted <laughs> away. Uh, we, uh, what, Munchie, what can I do where's... about that? Uh, if only there was a solution. Munchie, where's uh, Tiny Hats? We gotta do this podcast quick because I'm melting. I'm about to be a puddle on the floor in about mm, ten minutes. Dude, I love <laughs> Olaf from Frozen. Dude, I love uh, the Wizard of Oz. Dude, I love <laughs> the Nuclear Throne. Ice Cube. Dude, dude I love water. <laughs> uh, Hippocrit is here. Hello, it's me, the weakest boy at the ball. <laughs> I can't lift my own body weight. Here I am on the floor. <laughs> Gravity is too strong for this man. And finally, we've got our our special guest, the two time returning champion, Fit MC. Everyone in this podcast is a Homo sapien. <laughs> I thought Just you were taking that, that in a different in. direction. <laughs> 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 uh, that's. I don't want to think about that anymore. Uh, well, guys, today we we've done it. As you can tell. Uh, we, we've gathered, our, uh, it, it's time for the illustrious second half of our, of our world famous Minecraft and fitness saga. You were uh, so gung, you just like could not wait to do the back to back <laughs> Minecraft and fitness episode. I, well, that was yeah, just ever, your one fucking joy in the entire world and it was ripped from you. I really was excited about it. Ever since we, we were talking about getting fit on an episode of the PCP to begin with, uh, I was, I was really gung ho to make the topic of that episode fitness and Minecraft. You know, the two most inextricably linked subjects That's a in the world. A complex Venn diagram uh, is generated. <laughs> There's a lot of connecting nodes there. It's like it's like a brain with all these synapses connected through yeah. through a complex network. Yeah. Like, uh, like Nate's, and... Nate's got like a map of the United States up on his wall right now with like two thumbtacks in it. Um, one labeled <laughs> fitness and the other mind, and he's got lots of red strings going in between them, but they're just between these two points. So it's not like a big, like, web. It's just a line. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's true, but so many But they're connect. linked, so many. They are fucking linked, you cannot deny. And he'll there, sit, there and, he'll, he'll, sit no and he'll stare at the wall for 45 minutes, and then he'll, he'll nod to himself and put up another string, and then the cycle repeats <laughs> itself. He, he, he spanned the entire yarn around those two points. He, 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 he connects the points, and then he just says back, like, like I eyes wide what does it mean (laughs) (laughs) well so so here we are that's what we're here here to solve today so so to get into fitness fitness? uh, we it simply must be defined it simply must be defined okay now ironically so the, the definition of fitness here okay here we go fitness the core of physical health get off your computer and try it that is the definition of fitness which Hmm, a lot of, lot of thinking memes emojis going on. Uh, what, what else have we got? Uh, let me, let me, there's got to be a better one. Okay, fitness. Here's another one. Fitness, the most important thing you can have. Without fitness, you're a fat homosexual <laughs> who sits around all day watching movies on your computer and are, eating Cheez-Its. To be fit is to be person. God. <laughs> Probably. Urban Dictionary Probably. is Nate. I think this has been a start. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it would not... So what? Like I, I'm spoiling the future because I definitely will do this one day, and uh, uh, I should just go in and like knowing what the topic is. I should add a section of whatever I wanted to say on Urban Dictionary like the day before. I haven't done it yet, but I should like read it, and so I, I should ask someone to read it, and because you can see who it's by at the bottom, I should leave a little hint by by saying that it was by me, uh, and we'll see if <laughs> just anyone. Just a little up. hint. But, <laughs> by the way, though, I just I just want to point out. In. On the list, like, uh, you know, every every Urban Dictionary thing has, like, a list of, like, related things. Uh, the third one down is Fit MC on what? the on the Fit what? Urban Dictionary thing. Whoa. And l- l- let's read what it has to say here. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, Fit MC, a Minecraft YouTuber that plays on a popular anarchy server, 2B2T, and in parentheses, also is very fit and muscly. Lamau, Fit MC has huge muscles. <laughs> <laughs> that's Someone that's actually that's wrote that? So by, <laughs> this is by Antisocial Weeb from July 27, 2016. That's who wrote this. <laughs> it's your biggest fan. I, I, like, I, I like, hope like, he's listening. I like, I like the example <laughs> sentence like used in a sentence. Like, lol. <laughs> yeah, it said Lamau. It said Lamau. Antisocial Weeb, please, please leave a comment letting us know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> telling us... In your state of mind. Right we now. know you listen to How this. are you doing? This episode. 
This episode comes mm-hmm. on the heels of you, Fit, accomplishing a New Year's resolution, I believe. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah? My, my New Year's resolution this year, and I said it on Twitter on January 1st, I'm like, I am going to finally do the one-armed pull-up. And oh. yesterday, yesterday, I did it, and I was Damn. so happy. Like, That's this is, like, incredible. perfect timing for this podcast. Now, I just want to clarify, because some, some people, I, I've heard it in, in various circles, they consider a one-eyed pull-up, that you have one hand wrapped around the bar, and you can grab your other wrist and do a thing like that. Is, is that what we're talking about? Are we talking That's, just dangling from one arm? It's just they call dangling it a one-and-a-half from, sometimes. It's just from yeah. one arm. Now, you know, I, I just want to say, that that is fantastic. Congratulations, of course. Uh, I have long had a dream, ever since I beat Final Fantasy VII as a young <laughs> child, and in the no, final cutscene... Let's come cut back scene, to that. I have a lot of I have a lot of fitness goals based on the Final Fantasy games, but at the end of Final Fantasy VII, Cloud canonically does a one-armed pull-up while holding Tifa. So that's that's maybe 160, 180 pounds. I mean, she's got big tits, so you know. <laughs> yeah. so they, they, they weigh large. like 80 pounds. They weigh 40 they, pounds okay. each. <laughs> uh, realistically, she's she's maybe 120 pounds to 140 pounds. That's probably about right. So she, so that's you know high. that's that's that's, that's about depending well, on your okay. height. Hmm. I don't know. Let, let's fucking up. debate. Let's math. fucking debate how much Tifa yeah. weighs. Right if you're now. talking about like Final Fantasy fitness goals, though, mine is to suplex a freight train. Um, <laughs> that is uh, my uh, Final Fantasy uh, related goal. Did. As Saban did. As my I, next, I know, I know next I've said these before. Maybe. I'll, I'll just name my other two. Uh, one is that Zell did a hundred pull-ups before hitting level one at the beginning of Final Fantasy VIII. That was before he even joins the party, which I want to do. And then just to run up uh, as many flights of stairs in a building as uh, Cloud did in Shinra HQ oh, at the beginning yeah. of uh, Final Fantasy VIII. With the equivalent yeah. of doing a hundred pull-ups before reaching level one, being like doing a hundred pull-ups and then like doing an episode of the PCP, Nate. Is that what you're <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be great. I could do that. And you know what? I've looked into it. Doing a hundred pull-ups is not like an insane goal to have. When I was young, my goal, my record was fifty. My record was fifty when I was in high school. It's pretty I good. I feel like so- I could do a one-handed pull-up. But mostly because most, of, like the rest of my body, has no mass to Cause, it. Because you're like a swablu, you know. Yeah. There's just cotton balls <laughs> yeah. and, and fuzz. Pull-ups are fucking easy, but as soon as I actually get fit, they will be impossible. Hippo yeah. is a is a so- drifloon. As I'm sure yeah. you can tell, <laughs> viewers, there are two fitness gods here, and then laymen of varying degrees <laughs> yep. of disgust. I, 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 would uh, say, I would say either, I'm just going to go on a limb here, either me or Hippo are probably the weakest, the weakest link in society here. I think what are you, you talking know, about, think, Munchie? You are you could, an absolute yeah. unit. <laughs> okay, we we we, we can true. debate my unit my unitness all day. But the, the fact is, is that I don't look like it, but I'm weak as shit. I am I am. Mm. Th- you would be forgiven for thinking that I'm some sort of like weird strong fat person, but no, yeah, it, it, yeah. it's it's not like that in reality. <laughs> That there was this one moment uh, during Radcon Three where me and Munchie were like running to a train and we were sprinting <laughs> our fucking lungs out. Oh god, that and was the worst moment. I <laughs> I was dragging my suitcase behind me, uh, but I still ran faster than Munchie, so I think I win. Well, okay, okay. Well, okay, well hey, okay. La- land speed is different from from uh, you know generated force in 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 a punch or a push. Or I, whatever, actually, you, know? you reminded me of that. Like, has confirmed. Actually, I'm the strongest person to ever exist because I was <laughs> carrying like six grocery bags on each arm. Like, like just like, well, there you like go. holding them out, like running as fast as I could. Granted, I I was huffing and puffing, and I I almost passed out on the train. But but I did it. <laughs> I did it. If the job got done. There you go. That's some real shit. Cardiovascular fitness is kind of the area that I want to grow in. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, you know, they they say that the 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 group of people in the world who has the highest degree of body dysmorphia is is like men, like fit men. That's what they say because they're very self conscious about uh, like wanting to be bigger and whatnot. You and just uh, go all on the fit on Fortune, you can you know prove that. Yeah, I mean, they'll uh-huh. tell you that you're you know like they, all those. Im- I love the images of the like uh, the gigantic uh, you know six foot one god and then the six foot zero midget freak. Uh, <laughs> Standing next to him, you know. That's, uh, those are my favorite. Those are my favorite. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's, I mean, it's a real thing. It's a real thing that uh, it's always seemed to me that I've been very self conscious of how I look, and that's mm-hmm. been a big motivator and why I wanted to like work out and look better. I mean, just recently, Michelle put out like a video uh, when we were at an aquarium that I, that I was in, and I'm like, oh, I look fat and gross. 
Uh, and I know mathematically speaking, you know, or objectively speaking, <laughs> that I look I look pretty pretty decent, but it's just not good enough, and it it, it consumes me. It consumes me. I uh, t- it's yeah. t- time yeah. to air time to air my my dirty laundry. Mm. T- time to tell you all right. Seeing myself uh, in specifically in all the videos from Radcon Three, but especially mm, in the Tales mm. Gets Trolled lecture and comparing them to the uh, Sonichi lecture, I was like, "Oh my god!" Like I knew that I I, I gained maybe like fifteen pounds since then, but like mm-hmm, looking mm-hmm. at it and seeing it, I was like, "Oh my god!" Oh, it puts it into perspective. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh like, no! Yeah, yeah, no. It was a wake yeah. up call. So I've I've started getting back into into lifting. You've, I had let uh, it lie been... pretty fallow mm-hmm. for a long time. But yeah, it, but I, I, mean, I did that great. one. It's a pri- that's, that's, it's, that is great. That is it, great. I'm making it a priority again. That's, that's why it's really important. A lot of people can just. I think the reason why people get like ridiculously morbidly obese, like in America, is because they just like day to day is just not not part of their lifestyle to like think about that stuff because we train human beings totally wrong in this country. Uh, and they should be way more conscious of fitness and how to eat healthy and survive and stuff. I think, uh, I think me and Hippo yeah, have a yeah. point to do about like fitness and school and sports and shit later so we'll come back sure, yeah we can talk about that for sure because they do it all fucking wrong uh i learned everything i know about fitness from like youtubers and nothing from school uh, nothing. i learned it, i learned it all w- when i was in like late college i think you like, learned it like, all from final fantasy nate yeah. <laughs> well that too <laughs> when, that well, like true. when i was in college i got really into like reading up about fitness and stuff i you know i went on fit a lot you know i downloaded yep, yep. a lot of ebooks um mm-hmm. and shit uh and i got, was i was into it for a little bit um not like crazy but i was like kind of fit i had like a pretty respectable deadlift for a little bit you there. yeah your your squats were always i mean you you oh, always yeah, seem to squat like your squats were like good mine have always been utterly yeah, disgraceful I've, I've, and i don't know i've why. been able to squat more than you even when like i hadn't lifted always, for a while always. I, I don't even want to get into my numbers that would <laughs> yeah. just be embarrassing <laughs> Not my numbers no i used to know my i used numbers. i used to deadlift like 300 <laughs> something and it was pretty sick um but now I haven't, yeah. I haven't deadlifted yeah. in a while, so I don't know. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. that felt. I, was but, like, uh, but, I, I, I felt like a cool viewers. guy sometimes. Uh, uh, just FYI, viewer, a, a three fifteen deadlift is fucking disgraceful. Like you should be deadlifting four plates, five plates uh, at least. If you're, <laughs> that's not a joke. That's not. Wait, a what do you joke. deadlift? Like, I, what do you deadlift? I, I, I'm deadlifting around three plates, so like around three fifteen right now, which is disgraceful oh, and it's okay, pathetic okay. and nothing. Yeah. Ben, yeah. what would you say your goal is? Uh, um, well, my goal right now is just to, like, get back into a routine of doing it. Um, Mm -hmm. you know, get back up to, like, what I used to be doing at my best, which was, like, you know, squatting maybe, like, 250, it's, like, 245, deadlifting, like, Mm -hmm. 300-something, you know, my bench was always pretty disgraceful. My best bench ever was maybe, like, 165 or something. I never managed to bench Mm -hmm. my body weight. Um. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Maybe, but you know, maybe that should be my goal. Maybe my goal, getting back into it, is like I'm finally gonna bench my body weight. That's a good goal, and that's attainable for sure. Yeah. Fit MC, we, yeah, we should do. Do this. you have a, a fitness yeah. goal? Um. Well, now that I did the one armed pull up, I'm gonna try to do it for reps, mm-hmm. and then also my other arm, <laughs> I can barely get my chin to the bar, so I I'm a little uh, unbalanced. Yeah. But just right, right. in general, like just working on my body weight fitness, because when I was like in my early 20s, I was just a lifter. I, I wanted to just look like a balloon animal, you know, just hit the, <laughs> hit the weights hard, you know, squats and yep, oats yep. for big gains. But go mad every day. Yeah, yep. I know. Right. Right. But, right. Uh, in my later 20s and living so close to the ocean now and I do a lot of like stuff in the water. It's just I kind of appreciate being at a lower weight because I feel like. I can do more athletically, like climbing, swimming, surfing. Mm-hmm. Like it's hard to do that stuff when you uh, are a higher body weight, just because of all the lifting. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, that's cool. I mean, I've I've kind of I don't know. I I I, I want to be Z's. You know, there's no bones about it. I want to look like Z's. That's that's who I. That would be the you ideal. You want to be dead. <laughs> if you can if you, you can do what Z's did and not die uh, he died overdosing or something in like some brothel or something like fucking the Philippines Wait, or something really? yeah, yeah he really did he really did well, I, I don't know if he overdosed but something was up with his I heart he had, he had yeah, like a he heart had, like, issue a heart condition it, it might have just been that, heard, but it was yeah. like he did take like you know substances I, like, I'm, I'm sure the steroids that. didn't help his heart yeah, I thought yeah. he was natty. Uh, I thought I thought he was natty. Oh no, 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 no. He was not. He was Here, not. Yeah, here's the thing about Ziz. His body, because he was so cut and so low in body weight, 
his physique is attainable natty, but not in the speed he was able to do it in. Right, 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 right. Uh, it, but for those who don't know, by the way, Z's is kind of the god of the fitness board of 4chan. He's oh. an Australian cunt, and he <laughs> lived he lived fast and died hard. But he, <laughs> you know, have you uh, fit? Have you watched Scooby 1961 much? He's my fitness icon on uh, YouTube. I remember when I first started browsing the fit board on 4chan, I'd watch some of his videos, and yeah, like, yeah he had some really informative stuff. Like uh, mm-hmm. there was some form corrections I was able to make by watching his videos. Yeah, I thought he was. A really good uh, like fitness YouTuber to watch, really underrated. Mm-hmm. Scooby, he, uh, Scooby's he's got... goofy. Scooby is a weirdo. He's super goofy and yeah. he's super gay. But you know, all oh, is yeah, forgiven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> forgiven. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll give him he, a, um... a royal pardon for being gay. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, I was just going to say on the on the subject of Z's, like he's made a video about how like Z's is a better role model than like Jeff Side. Uh, Jeff Side's another, like, world-famous, uh, like, fitness guy. Uh, because Jeff Side claims to be natty, uh, and he may well be, but it's just that if he really is natty, his physique is unbelievable. Um, um, what is natty? Yeah. Oh, natty. oh no, no, we, no steroids. We should define our terms. No steroids. Yeah. No, no steroids whatsoever. Just naturally obtaining, like, a, a good physique or whatever. Hmm. Being naturally slim, naturally muscular, any of that stuff. So yeah, no no steroids. I'm afraid I'm not natty. My physique is not natty because I've drank How all so? this. Caffeine. up steroids every day. I've, I've, I've drank all this caffeine. I've drank all this caffeine to give myself the jitters to burn off those extra calories. Well, and, hey, uh, hey, yeah. I'll, I'll give you a pass because Scooby definitely consumes a lot of caffeine and calls himself Does natty. He? So if, if he, yeah, he. Loves I mean, caffeine. I was I was yeah. just joking, but I'm surprised. He he seems like the kind of guy who'd be like no caffeine, no fucking I don't know, uh, 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 polysorbonates or whatever. Well, you know, Scooby is very much a pragmatist and scooby recognizes that like okay what does caffeine do to your body do, it, like it, it helps you get energy to do stuff it has you know little to no side effects as long as you don't like cra- take crazy amounts of it and uh i mean and that's really it and so he's like yeah i mean this seems fine doesn't seem harmful because scooby well, what's great about scooby and everyone if you're interested in fitness i would highly recommend you check out scooby 1961 on youtube he is he is the the goat as far as i'm concerned for for learning this shit um he he's he's conscious of two things. He's got like two goals. One, to be super muscly and ripped because he just loves looking that way, and, and God bless him for it. And then the second goal, probably probably even more important, is to just like be super cardiovascularly fit. Like he loves doing. He does like half Ironmans. He does like bikes across China and like huge crazy trips and stuff. Uh, despite having like this huge muscly physique, and he's a, he's a huge guy. Uh, so. He's just he's just working towards like these are his goals and he devises strategies to help him achieve those things you know and if you have different goals well you gotta use some different strategies probably but uh, and, and he's developed all these tools on his website scoobiesworkshop.com that you can use to like help you with whatever your goals are and uh, it's fucking great it's fucking great let me let me talk about let me talk about goals let me talk about like like aesthetic yeah. goals I. When I got into fitness, when, when I was maybe like twenty, around twenty or so, I, mm-hmm. you know, I was like, "Man, I'm real ugly, and I need <laughs> to be less ugly, and this is my only chance." So that, it so helps. that, it yeah, helps. sure, sure, it does. Mm-hmm. But I think ben, I, 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 I don't, say I don't, it. I don't I, actually think that matters anymore. Like, I really don't think that mm, it makes mm. much difference what you look like. I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you I'll tell you what does make a difference, Ben. I've, I've said this a thousand times before. You know this to be true. Yeah. It's the beard, dude. It's the fucking beard. Okay, yeah, well, that's a whole separate issue. Ben, yeah, the, for your me... your beard is iconic. It's fucking iconic. The it, bin that yeah. everyone thinks about in their mind is the TBAP Q&A bin. That's the real bin. <laughs> I, think the, that's actually, I think most people probably <laughs> think of the Chris Chan lecture bin, but I do mm, think you know, the beard... Statistically. I do think the beard is is a better look um it's coming back you look like a fucking lumber it, you okay both you and, and nate this is like a proven fact that everyone mm. like knows you and ben <laughs> are a, a, appear in the tbap q a as the yeah. most beautiful people to ever exist everyone <laughs> in the community was like blown away at how you appeared in that video and we just like, looked like normal holy. people yes. doing <laughs> pony videos you know we were so blown away because we were just normal and <laughs> i mean yeah that's what, I, that's what that's I what had, i thought at the time i had a real i had a real good looking beard and i was wearing a very flattering outfit yeah, you, you, and, you were uh, wearing fucking flannel you look like a lumberjack you 
look like a yeah. lumberjack. That was my there. shirt. I lent him my no, shirt. No, no, that, that was my shirt. I got that in Poland. I okay, maybe you're right. Maybe that was, that was, my, was, that's was my favorite like his shirt. Was shoes? It, it's like you know, <laughs> it, it's 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 his shirt, but you took it from home. Is, is that? No, no, that's, gotta, like, that's like, all like mine. Shoes. That was all me. I'm I'm linking this right. Ben, you are wrong. That is my shirt that I lent. I'm looking at it right now. No. That was definitely. Hang on. Wait, I think. Let, here, I, I've got it right here. I'm gonna this link is you. Mis- <laughs> this is a mystery that needs solving. I, I this must be solved. I completely believe Nate because Ben has a history of stealing Nate's clothes. I did yeah, not steal right. those shoes. Nate, uh, <laughs> Nate left them. Ben, Nate Let's left not them even be- get Nate into it. Nate left them behind, and I went home and I saw the shoes, and I said, "Are these Nate's?" And Mom said, "Nate left them and said he didn't want them." And I was like, "Well, yeah. they're cool, so Look, I'll take." Mom them. was misinformed. All right, You're Mom was misinformed, and that's not my. No, fault. okay. I'm anyway. looking. That's my shirt. I that that is my favorite shirt. I bought it in Poland. I remember. Okay, all right. It's not Maybe his you're right. It's his favorite shirt. It's not just a shirt he has. Yeah, that's it's my his favorite. I remember buying it, and it was my favorite shirt ever since. Okay, I'll you kill right you that. for this. You <laughs> right. uh, link in the description to give me back my shirt from Ben. Um, <laughs> start start an Indiegogo for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, my goal. Yeah, but, I, I've always yeah. Had... Tell us about it. Uh, mm-hmm. Like like a dream, but not a dream in the sense that it's something I want to actively work towards, like you know, drawing and stuff like that. But it's one of those like side like nightmares that I have in my life that I just I hope I stumble into somehow. But they're not my primary like motivating goal in life, and just hopefully mm-hmm. along the road to accomplishing my actual goals, I will somehow become it. Uh, I sure. want to be a bear. I think a big gay bear. Yeah, a big gay bear. Unironically, nice. that is my okay. goal. I want to be. You're a you're honestly bar and most dad. of the way there. Already. I know, dude. That's that's imagine Matt. Imagine be, me being like a daddy barug. Like it's so easy. <laughs> I basically am already doing. I, I, I already do that all DLC. the time. Yeah. You should be downloadable DLC for Dream Daddy. You should. Oh you should God, one day. Should. One but day. it's actually true. <laughs> Eagle Raptor, if you're looking out, uh, let me know. All, but, all you need to do, much, you probably don't need to change a thing about your life. You just need to start powerlifting yeah. and probably just eat more food. Yeah, probably yeah, yeah. Eat yeah. More food. <laughs> here's here's uh, okay. Here's the thing. Eat more protein. The thing about the thing about getting getting fit and getting swole, like okay, because I'm all about like simplicity. I'm all about like rid, like like cut away needless complexity and just reduce it mm, to like most mm. basic principles. And I think that like what something that everyone could internalize and would be better off for it is this idea mm-hmm. that like okay, lift, lifting does everything because like like lifting like make it, yeah make, like you said making no changes in your life if you just mm-hmm. start lifting or lift more well like you you can eat all the same shit and like you will just like you will co- you will simultaneously lose fat and gain muscle due to like the calories being redirected in your body due to like the new yeah. strains you were putting on it. Like, oh, but Ben, but Ben, after I exercise, I gotta go get myself a little treat. I gotta go get myself a little treat I mean, every time I lift. Gotta, gotta, hit up, gotta hit up Starbucks and get a couple of treats, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, that's just how sure, I do. Sure, whatever. <laughs> and like, I, even if you do that, you'll still be better off if you're lifting. I mean, you will be better off. That's My, true. my, my that's dream true. is to be a bar of dad, uh, but my actu- I actually do have a real goal, and it's not to like become a fitness god, but all I wanna do is just walk. I wanna have a time in the day for like an hour. Where I just walk down my street. And I, Dude, and you know I who used know... to take spirited, portly walks? Portly. Benjamin Franklin. S- Benjamin Franklin. Wait, did, he, did he call them portly walks? Was it like his spirit version of portly Winnie the Pooh? Was it like his version of Winnie the Pooh's stoutness exercises? Stout, I, I, absolutely, absolutely. That's exactly. <laughs> wait, what wait it was. with Benjamin Franklin, more like goutness exercises. Oh, hey. he couldn't, oh, he too couldn't soon. walk at all. Too soon. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a couple more centuries. <laughs> But yeah, right. I just want to take more walks, and I want to be able to like go outside more. Because honestly, I think that's the most alluring thing about being yeah. fit is just feeling like you're not dying constantly. Pokemon Go, dude. Pokemon I, Go. I feel like I'm dying like <laughs> maybe thirty two percent of my life. I oh, feel like I'm dying. <laughs> Wait, that's you, not you that feel high. like you're dying yeah. that much. What do you like? Because you feel really bad physically. Is that yeah. the idea? Hmm. Uh, okay. All right, okay. Munchie, but, I have the perfect remedy mm-hmm. for you. I will yeah. teach you the secret to becoming fit. Are you ready? Oh, it, shit. Is it law of attraction? I guarantee you it's law of attraction. To, is, 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 is it punching trees with your hands? <laughs> Close. <laughs> is, it, is it sitting under uh-huh. a waterfall? <laughs> no, let, let him say it. I need to know the secret. <laughs> no, I don't even give a shit what the real answer is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, first off, you need to master the exercise that is a fit favorite it's called the fork put down 
And I'm if you're able to down. do these for uh, at least 15 repetitions for three sets, you're good. Second <laughs> of all, start an Instagram account for yourself. <laughs> And Whoa. post your progress every single day. Damn. So that way, if you fail, it will live on forever in a government database long after you die. So that is That's the ultimate idea. motivation to keep going. Mm. Third. It is public ridicule. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, God. Um, well, third is just eat steroids. Lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's and you will make it. Slurp them up. Yep. And that's it. I'm just going to have my daily Captain Crunch, and I'm just going to pour some steroids on there for good measure. (laughs) Yeah, but for real, though, having people around to hold you accountable is, like, one of the best things you can have. That's why, like, like exercise groups. Like with most things. Yeah, yeah, it's totally true. Because it's so easy to just, like... Uh, I, like even me, like I, I, I missed like two workouts this week, but I was like sick. But like the week before, I like missed a day of of exercising on like Monday or something, and it was like it's like well, you know, like nobody's around. I'm just gonna, I can just, I can just go home, and it won't be a problem. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And you know, like if someone was there, being like, time to go. All right, Nate, come on, let's let's fucking get to the gym. I'd be like, all right, here we go, and that would be a totally different atmosphere, and I would like definitely go because. Uh, like, the worst thing for me about, like, the thing that prevents me from, like, actually getting to the gym on days is that, like, when I'm at work and I've and I've dicked around too much during the day that I have to stay late to, like, catch up on the shit I've done. Uh, and then I it end up getting late and I'm like, shit, I got to get home and get to work. So I guess I'll skip the gym today. So the solution to me to make sure I never miss a day at the gym is to literally just have my life together and stick to my schedule so that I actually like fulfill all my commitments so I can get there and not fuck everything up. So, I mean, it's just kind of like a total life change thing for me. I don't want to like intimidate, but intimidate people away from it thinking like, Oh, my whole life needs to change. I'm just saying that like, for me, uh, that's, that's kind of my biggest hurdle. Like I, 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 I know what I'm doing now. I just got to actually fucking get there to do it. I <laughs> don't have, Oh no, mm-hmm. you, you got something to say. You can say it. Oh, I was going to say, um, I know for a lot of people, like, if you've never done fitness before, you've never, like, gone to the gym, it can seem like it's intimidating. What's yeah, cool about yeah. fitness is that there's tons of things you can do and not be in a gym. Like, even just in your bedroom doing push-ups, you know, planks, things like that. Just mm-hmm. to build up basic strength if you're feeling a little too insecure to going to the gym. You know, like, there's still a lot of basic things you can do without ever stepping foot in the gym, so... Yeah, something, and I know a lot of people... Oh, yeah, go on, but go on. Something, something that has always been a problem with me, not just in terms of fitness, but with everything, is this idea that, like, if it's not just so, then, like, fuck it. So, like, if I'm yeah, on, if, if, yeah. if, if I'm on like, a, a routine, like, if I'm on, like, a, like a three-day-a-week, like, like, lifting routine, and I get it, and a day comes, and, like, I can't get to the gym... My, I'm, I, I'm not like, oh, well, I'll, I'll do push-ups or cardio or something instead. I'm just like, I can't do the thing, then oh, fuck it, it's ruined. It's, I, I that, like, throw yeah, it all in the garbage. Yeah. Um, that, that could be a big problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 like, tried... the solution is either, like, get over that or just, like, make absolutely sure that your schedule never fucks up so that you don't fucking mm-hmm, have mm-hmm. this adverse reaction due to your, due to your, your psychological problems. Uh, I've, um... I've never had um, very much success uh, regimenting, like, uh, exercise for myself Mm -hmm. because of, like, uh, one, I don't eat that much anyway, so I don't have, like, a weight loss problem. I'm, Mm -hmm. I'm a, 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 you know, average weight, and it's all fine. And also, I don't really particularly care about getting swole. So, like, the only reason Mm -hmm. I I would do exercise is because, well, it's better than not doing exercise. But it's always, like... It's true. I, I tried it, like, a, a couple months, I tried getting up and having, a, like, a doing some cardio or something before breakfast, and it works a bit, but I keep falling out of favor with it, and I feel like if I was, if I'm ever going to do, like, a real fitness thing, it would just mm-hmm. be because I am, like, doing something else that I also want to do, like, learning to play the drums properly. Like, sure, playing the sure. drums is, like, that, that's a pretty good thing to do. So yeah, I yeah. I I feel I feel like I'm not a fitness boy. I feel like I'm I'm a health boy. I'm not a fitness boy. I feel like there's a difference between the two. 
Well, you know, that, that's fine. But, like, what about what about a goal like, and I, I don't know if you care about this, but, like, I personally, I would like to, before I die, run a marathon. That That's a goal of mine. It's a long-term goal. And, you know, I, I know people who've gone from couch to marathon in six months, so it shouldn't really take me that fucking long. But it's not a, it's not a huge priority for me right now. But what about, like, cardiovascular strength? Like, being able to run for a long time. Like, that's something I mean, that doesn't take, I've like, super been, muscle, I've guys. I've always been pretty good at running. Uh, my mm-hmm. favorite thing, like, my favorite physical thing to do is just climbing on rocks Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't particularly like like. Do they call that bouldering of... in England? Uh, they they call that in America too. I, I uh, when oh, I worked yeah? at Astro Camp, I knew a bunch of guys that really liked bouldering. And in fact, I have yeah. with me right now a T-shirt from Boulder Fest, uh, two thousand uh, <laughs> two thousand. Uh, I don't know, thirteen or whatever. Yeah, we, they are, had. Are you bold... going to BoulderCon this year? <laughs> <Yeah, we're laughs> it's just we all went up to like a um, local mountain and just like clambered around on some low rocks. <laughs> yeah, and that was and they made it. T-shirts <laughs> for it. And it was just Boulder a group Fest. Just about twenty or so. <laughs> guy just walking up to a cliff and you just know floundering and just yeah. you know, you know <laughs> yeah. trying to climb up some you rocks. know like one guy just like puts his feet on on a rock face and kind of like kind of kind of crab walks t- to the left across it for a ways and you know if he gets mm-hmm. a little high people hold a mattress under him and that's just a couple uh, of guys and some rocks what could be that, better and that's boulder <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I don't know whether I'd like go and uh-huh. to, with a group and pe- of people and do something like that but like I enjoy climbing and getting up high, so like climbing stairs, climbing up to the top of a big old rock, uh, just being on a cliff, not jumping off though, Um, (laughs) these things, like climbing a tree, I would climb a tree just because, but I wouldn't like regiment it, I don't think I'm built for that sort of weirdness. Just like a it's gibbon, so weird. like a, a monkey gibbon, you know? That's what they oh. do, they climb trees and they swing around and <laughs> that's it, that's Whoops. it, that's all Whoops. they do. Pokemon Go, unironically, has been such an improvement on my life. When mm-hmm. I was in Boston, I've easily like walked like probably more than I ever have in my entire life <laughs> just to get fucking Rayquaza. That, that's all that I cared about during Dude, my time away. I, fucking... I had to get as many Rayquaza as humanly possible. So I walked all fucking over town. I, I, I walked from fucking Faneuil Hall down to, like, the fucking Prudential Center, like, over and over again. One time I did it, like, like three times in one fucking day. I Damn. walked back and forth just fucking constantly getting those fucking Pokemon. Yeah, it was I, great. I, when, Pokemon Go, when Pokemon Go first started and I was really into it, I was the same. I was like, oh, this is going to be great. I, I really want to get out of the house and walk every day. So I did for like months. Mm-hmm. And it was great and I was catching Pokemon. But then as Pokemon Go stopped being interesting uh, to me for like, uh, mm-hmm. it was like, it got really cold and I just didn't want to go out. And it, yeah. was, it, was, it was bad. <laughs> I, I know, actually, I did go out quite a lot during the winter. But like, it was just, it just lost, it fell out of favor with me. Mm-hmm. And I also stopped wanting to go outside. And I was like, damn, I, I really hoped that Pokemon Go would just make, make me be, like, normal. At, like, co- going outside and walking and being normal. I need Pokemon so I can take care but, of my body. I need them. But, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't want I to too. rely on Pokemon <laughs> Go. Because eventually it will stop being fun. And then I will stop walking. And it sucks. What well, I, it, eventually it really, the universe will burn really out. Great. But... That, mm-hmm. that, that I mm-hmm. joined Pokemon Go when I did, like, well, rejoined it, rather, is because I joined when, like, raids were, you know, already an established thing, and mm-hmm. raids are just fantastic. They are just fucking beautiful. For those who don't know, raids are when a, a Pokemon will spawn at a gym, and so you have to take it down together as a group, and you have to uh, assemble a team, uh, some sort of suicide squad, if you will, to take down <laughs> uh, the various Pokemon <laughs> that, that arises. And so... I'll just be walking. I'll, I'll have walked like fucking like ten kilometers in one day trying to find Rayquaza eggs, and then I'll come I'll come across some some co- colorful characters, if you will. I will fa- in Boston. I just found the craziest fucking people you will ever find playing Pokemon Go. Not just like <laughs> nerds, but like fathers and mothers and children and weird disabled people. I've, I've already told the story about uh, the guy who uh, said that everyone Pokemon loves the cock. And, and yes. I just couldn't stop saying the phrase, yeah, this Pokemon loves the cock. He just loves it. It was this portly <laughs> fat guy. That guy, I found people like that all the time. It was beautiful. I love meeting urban freaks. And Pokemon Go not only allows me to take care of my body, but also allows me to see freaks. And those are my two favorite pastimes, is being alive and seeing freaks. I mean, getting the the, the exercise thing is definitely good. Because, like, I... 
my rec- my fucking life is like in front of a computer and then I go to the gym and like work out for a time and you know do some time on the treadmill then I come home and get back in the computer and like <clears throat> I don't feel like it's really that good of a lifestyle like I should probably do way more cardio or spend like any time outside so something like Pokemon Go it's just that brings me to walk for like five minutes outside. It's honestly a huge change of pace mm-hmm. from what I like normally do in a day. And uh, just just that in itself, I think is really good. Just to get some fucking sun because I'm the palest motherfucker at the gym by far. And uh, and also just to like explore my environment a little bit. You know that that's always nice. Just to I feel so. I feel so, so, like such an internet denizen, such a citizen of the internet, and like I have very little grounding in my physical environment, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And it's nice to it's nice to have a reason to to fucking check that shit out every once in a while. I I before Pokemon Go and when I got back home, I started playing it a lot. But before that, I didn't really like know my area excruciatingly well. Like I didn't really like know downtown San Diego that well. But after like mm-hmm. playing Pokemon Go for the past couple weekends like I've been doing, I feel like I feel like local in the place that I live. I feel like I like I know my way around the city. And it's just like Sick. culturally enriching, I would call it. Like it feels yeah. good to be a part of the world and inhabit it. Uh community day i've gone to two now or i guess three and they've all just been complete joys community days are it's a special day pokemon go each month where a special type of pokemon spawns extremely commonly and so mm-hmm. i will go down to balboa park which is this like a beautiful section like like strip of uh like stores and uh museums and it's absolutely beautiful and i'll go there and there'll just be crowds and crowds of people and it'll just be fantastic to be able to see people there and just walk around back and forth catch pokemon and talk to weird freaks uh, also, fun fact, shout out to Brianna, a, fa- mm. a fan that found me during the last community day. I was doing a raid, yeah. and, and, and then I turn around, and there's someone who's like, hey, are you Munchie? I love the procrastinators. I, ah, I, <laughs> what the fuck do you <laughs> it know? Was, it was great. She, fa- she found uh, us through you, Nate, by the way. Through really? You through, like, Digi. my channel? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Through, like, anime shit, I guess. Yeah, that, anime, that's cool. Anime that's cool. shit. Anime bullshit. <laughs> yeah, shout yeah. out. Uh, Pokemon Wait, Go is up, the literal... Bible. It is the Bible. It's the Quran in digital I mean, form. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pokemon Go is definitely great. It's definitely great. Uh, I don't know. Is there is there like anything else that is even close to like what Pokemon Go is uh, oh, in terms of oh, like? Oh, of course, Nate. How could you forget Jurassic Park Alive, the most premier uh, game to be releasing this summer? Jurassic World Alive. <laughs> Go there, click the link in the description to see what? the promo trailer. It's, get, everyone, get ready for Jurassic World Alive. Is it, is it premier just Pokemon AR Go? game on the planet. Is it just Pokemon Go, but yes, Jurassic World? Yes, but we're Park. fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> um, but we've already got Charizard and, like, you know, You don't have Aerodactyl. the fucking T-Rex from Jurassic Park, TM. I mean... <laughs> You're not wrong, dude. You're not I'm gonna wrong. I'm going to some fucking screenshots of Jurassic Park live okay. right fucking now. Well, uh, all right. All right. Craziest. Pokemon Go is great and all, but I want to talk for a minute about the insane levels of, of fitness and dexterity I have achieved through my incredible MLG gamer skills. <laughs> my my <laughs> finger dexterity is through the fucking roof. Uh, those Whoa. those fucking uh, Kingdom Hearts true. final mix yeah. bosses... They have definitely, but the T Rex looks dope as fuck. It's looking excellent. Uh, <laughs> this looks quite goofy. Actually. Disgraceful. Yeah, it looks pretty funny. He looks teeth. very. He <laughs> does have buck teeth. Um. Okay. Let's seriously talk about if video games have had any positive impact or Hand negative. Hand eye coordination. Don't claim to be a musician unless you play video games. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was gonna say that I feel like playing guitar does it better, but I also play a lot of video games, so who knows which one influenced the other? John Lydon, fucking Jimi Hendrix, get the fuck out of here! I'm playing Kingdom Hearts <laughs> 2. I mean, if we're talking about fitness and gaming, I can't believe we yeah. haven't mentioned the all-time great for fitness and video games, it, DDR. Is, I was gonna, yeah, DDR, DDR. man, there it I is. Used to, there it didn't, is. Didn't it used to like track your calories burned or something? Yeah, like, it actually there was had like a in workout there. mode in yeah. the game. I, I used to do that, Nate. Remember, remember, I the remember, good, remember the good old days. Uh, playing, we were pretty uh, damn good at DDR. Playing, um, we were pretty good. <sighs> Fuck DDR it. Max Two, DDR Max what Two. Was, there were a couple of uh, there were a couple of songs. I'm trying to remember a couple of a uh, of, of uh, uh, breakdown. Yeah, breakdown. Yeah, breakdown was my favorite. Yeah, and that's one for breakdown. One. I, I've always loved <laughs> yeah. the aesthetic of DDR, and I've always wanted Butterfly. to be one of those people that can just fucking go ham. Uh, to my knowledge, though, I still could. Uh, a, a video game 
that you wouldn't think maximizes fitness and turns you into a health god, but uh, I've learned does is VR chat. Uh, I've been recently l- listening to a lot of Radio Prozac. It's hosted by Jan Murikowski, actor of Parkour Dude 91. Spoiler. Mm, mm. Uh, and one of the hosts he has, his name is Dewey. And Dewey is this guy who goes on VR chat every night and gets so wasted dancing <laughs> and raving in the virtual world, meeting <laughs> freaks and, like, communicating with, like, serial killers, that, like, sometimes he'll just, like, he'll, he'll, like, like pass out with the VR on after drinking so much, then just wake up and continue like raving all fucking Whoa. day. This is <laughs> and, and, and he is unironically watched, like lost like five pounds, just just straight up raving in VR. That's just all he fucking does. <laughs> And I mean, with like furries damn. and like Nat Sock members. I mean, the, the cool thing about VR is it does make you move your physical body, which mm. is cool. Yeah, yeah. Hey, ben, that, you've got an good. Oculus Rift. I hey. do, I do, and um, ben, it, it you is were a workout. So close to getting me one too. You were so close. I was a couple, a couple board. hundred, a couple hundred more, more dollars, a couple hundred oh. more dollars, and we could, yeah, yeah. Next time, that would have been good. That would have been good. Rowdy fuckers VR. VR. Dude, oh, ima- that'd be Im- incredible! Ima- dude, imagine imagine playing Endless War in VR. Oh, yeah. that's the next step. That's the next <laughs> Text step. Text base. Hey, can, can you can you play Minecraft in VR? Could you use the of slime you mod? Yeah. Well, I mean, then fucking uh, Lord of Ghosts oh slime my, mod. Dude, dude, Lord <laughs> of Ghosts slime, Minecraft slime fucking mod VR. in VR. Holy shit! Yes, please. I, I, I recently <laughs> played with the texture pack you made and. Uh, but no, not you made. Uh, that uh, one of the characters Lord of Everest Cock Killers, yes. Lord of Ghosts, is made. Not anyone here. Uh, and it's beautiful. It's simply beautiful. So wherever you are, Lord of Ghosts, thank you for the present. And, and, and incidentally, we brought it back around to Minecraft. I told you they were intricately linked. There's, this is one of the many connecting nodes that I've mapped out on my fucking red string chart. Uh, yes. Uh, excellent. Let's talk um, about how school has ruined fitness forever, and it's made great me think that question. running is evil. Yes, I, I had I had a tweet uh, a couple days ago, because I just mm-hmm. had this thought about, like, how the I, I'm sure a lot of people got, got turned off from taking care of their body fitness ways, because the mm-hmm. only way you could do fitness at school is competitive sport, and if you're not on the winning team, uh, you feel like shit. And, and so also, conf- there, there conflating, conflating sports with, with fitness means that people who don't like playing tennis or football yeah. end up not trying to exercise. It, it, it's like, also just the simple fact that it is a game. Like, like sports are a game that you play with, like, objectives outside of the fact of fitness. Being fit helps you play sports, but, like, you don't play sports to get fit, really. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong. I understand, I think, the idea behind it. They're like, ah, we'll make it a game. It will be fun, because it's fun, we'll basically be tricking these kids into, like, being healthy and shit. Like, that's, like, the logic behind it. That's why, like, we play, like, dodgeball and shit when we're, you know, fucking young or whatever. You know, that, that's fucking banned now or whatever. But, like, yeah, like, in uh, like we had health class and we had, like, gym. And these were, like, totally separate. Gym was just play some semi-fit games or, like, run around the track, like, once or twice. Oh, my God. And it was, like, it was embarrassing. It was, like, terrible. And I hated it. Of course, everybody hated it. Um... And, and, like, health class, I, I just learned nothing. It was, like, an elective. It was shit. It was an embarrassment. It was nothing. We need to fucking teach people about fucking, like, what the fuck is a calorie? Like, how do you... Okay, like, uh, uh, Fit was saying before about, like, the... Uh, doing doing reps of his favorite exercise, the uh, the fork put down. The fork put down is a great exercise. But I've, I've got one that I learned from my boy, Is Scooby. that a gardening thing? Uh, <laughs> no. You're, it's you're, a... <laughs> you're shoveling soil around, and then you put down the fork, you pick it back up. Move some more soil. That'll get you fit. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's that's true. That's true. But th- this is the exercise I'm thinking of. It's the it's called the loaf turnover, and this works with with a large variety of different instruments. It's like when you got a bread loaf. Before you s- put that motherfucker in your face, you perform the loaf turnover, and you turn it over, and you look at the fucking nutrition facts label on the back <laughs> of the goddamn thing before you eat it. And so many people don't even know. That, like, everything you need to know, for the most part, like, 99% of what you want to know about a food is just on the label. How many calories are in it? Uh, like, the amount of, the grams of sugar that are in it. Like, uh, and, and particularly with the loaf turnover specifically, uh, like, if you're eating, like, white bread, uh, the thing is, when you make bread, uh, you use, like, only part of the grain to make, like, white bread uh, that gets removed so that it's just, like, the pure white fluffy stuff. But, like, what, like whole wheat 
bread has way more like fiber and actual vitamins and stuff that's actually good for you, not just pure carbs. Uh, so you want to eat more of that shit. And like if you, if you turn over and you look at the ingredients and you see it says 100% whole wheat and it says 100% whole wheat in the ingredients and doesn't you know, give you any bullshit, then you know, ah, this is good, like, this is what I should be putting in my body. Though, I mean, there's another case, like, bread is just, like, you should just not even I, eat bread, but... I, the, the, the one thing about food and yeah. the calorie counting that I always hate is that mm -hmm. I don't, I don't care. I, I would rather, like, I would rather learn how to cook vegetables to make them tasty and then just eat that, because I know vegetables are just good, and you should just well, the, eat Yeah, them. I mean, there's it's, different uh, ways the to approach simpler, it. The simpler it is... The simpler the, the solution is, the more people will actually do it. I, I, well, I feel it, the same way. Uh -huh. That definitely makes sense. It's just like I, you know, since I've, I've been sort of in this world for a while now, like there's two ways to approach it. Scooby himself advocates, like he advocates for like simple substitutions to make it as easy as possible because he knows like realistically that's what people who are just starting will be like willing to do. Like cut out soda, just start drinking water. Like someone could conceivably do that and like lose a bunch of weight and feel better about themselves. Oh, yeah. Um, but, like, uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's tough, but people can do it. But, like, the real ultimate goal for everyone in the world ultimately should be to, like, gauge their BMI, know how many calories they need in a day, have a direct fitness goal, count their calories, count their macronutrients, and make sure they're doing all this stuff correctly every day, and, like, formulate their diet so that they're getting what they need for their goals, whatever those well, may be. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's a lot to ask of people, obviously. I mean, some, uh, some goals can be quite vague. You want to be, like, huge. You want to be a big, huge boy with... More or less, with, yeah. Uh, yeah. With big old muscles. And I don't really particular. I don't particularly fat. care about having, like, a large mass. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I'd rather be a compact lad. Like, like uh, <laughs> you, you punch me, but I'm made of steel, you know? You, you, want, what, uh, you want what He's... Michelle said... <laughs> You all, so Michelle intense. describes as lean muscle, <laughs> lean muscle. She's always talking about. It's like it's just like normal muscle, only ten times as dense and powerful. She'll buy these like What's bullshit that? products. It, it's, it's so like... dense. Every <laughs> single f uh, ligament has so many. Things. Yeah, so many things going on <laughs> in every. <laughs> Every, every, every you're about to into a black hole. You're so fucking dense. You're you know, I, I actually, on I actually read this. I read this series called. Uh, it's called. Uh, it's like history's strongest warrior, Kenichi, or something. It, it's this manga. It got made into an oh, anime. I've seen that. Yeah, the, like, at the beginning of the series, um, it, it's about a guy who goes from, like, a normie. He starts doing, uh, like, fitness, specifically to, like, learn karate, to, like, defend himself from some bullies or whatever. Uh, it escalates or whatever. But, like, at first he's just a normal guy, and he wants to get ripped. And, like, the guys at this dojo he stumbles upon are, like, all huge and muscly. But, like, the guy who's training him is this, like, normal-looking dude. But then, and so so he's like following that guy's training regiment, and he's not gaining any muscle. He's like, well, dude, what the fuck? I'm not, like, getting ripped. What the hell? But... Later on, <laughs> like, turns out, like, that, that, that normal-looking guy, like, his shirt falls off, and you can see he's just, like, super tight, and his muscles are glistening. He just looks normal size. He's like, wait, what? And then Kenichi, like, looks himself, and he's like, wait, I, my muscles are so dense. I've been developing lean muscle. And they describe, like, a different type of muscle that this guy has been cultivating that doesn't make any fucking sense. Is this, like, is this completely like, a, made is this up. like slow twitch versus fast twitch muscle or something? I don't really that, think... That's a real thing, right? There's, like, mm, something, maybe. something they, I remember about they described that. It as, they described it as pink muscle, something about, I believe, something is the about term about that muscle, was used. Mus muscle confusion. <laughs> some muscle confusion stuff. Isn't that just some shit to, like, develop, like, more power when you're, like... I mean, I guess it makes sense. Cause, uh, like, I the, suppose the whole that's point what was... the guys in 300 did. They all did, like, muscle confusion workouts to, like... Oh, but those guys have huge muscles. Not yeah. being well, what the yeah. fuck is muscle well, let's, confusion? Let's, let's, let's it's have, you do a different, you do different exercises all the time, so your body never gets used but to. But that's the just a way to build a muscle faster. I think. <laughs> I have to make my, my body disoriented. That's how I'm going to achieve. I mean, kind of, yeah. Form. But fit. Did uh, you have a comment? Here? Yeah. <laughs> the easiest way to see the comparison is look at a sprinter versus a marathon runner. Like Usain yeah. Bolt is a sprinter, mm -hmm. and he is huge. And mm -hmm. then if you look mm -hmm. at a marathon runner, most of their bodies actually look like shit aesthetically. Mm -hmm. There's a mm -hmm. huge difference between muscles that are meant for endurance and then muscles that are meant for explosiveness. If you train your body for explosiveness, you're going to have more size. But if you're training for endurance, you're not going to have as much size and it's not going to be as aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, so and when I play Dark Souls, I put all my points into <laughs> endurance. So like, I, I want to roll more. 
But all, all I'm saying is that this Kenichi guy was training to be a fighter, so you want explosive power. He's not trying to be a marathon runner. So I'm just saying it doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh, but I think just... later, I think later he does the other type of muscle. He has both. He's like uh, later Ichigo. later on he gets huge. This is just like his first regiment where he he develops his like first power base. I di I didn't read it that far, but I you know I've kept up every once in a while. Um. Yep. I, one, one of the, one of my side nightmares that I hope I stumble into, which will help like accommodate me also becoming a bear, is mm -hmm. I want to become a world class chef and have seven restaurants exactly, uh, which okay. is okay. extremely obtainable as a side career. <laughs> one of my seven <laughs> Cooper hotels. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just want to be able to like cook like real fucking food. And like mm -hmm. not and not have to rely on like like going to like I don't go to fast food ever really, but I don't want to have to become you know relying on like restaurants or anything. I just want to be able to like know my real shit, be able to like cook actual real like you know like vegetable fried rice and real shit in in the comfort of my own yeah. home. I think that's extremely desirable, and that would be yeah, really totally. helpful in becoming like a health boy. But you're not like reliant on I have to like get shit. I can just make shit myself. That's definitely a great thing to do. I've, like, I've wanted to do that. I'm honestly just, like, too lazy to put in the time to do it. I've been, like, I've been ordering a lot from, like, Grubhub and stuff. And, like, I generally aim towards healthier meals. You know, like, getting, like, grilled chicken instead of, like, fried and stuff and, and, and stuff along those lines. Just very simple stuff. Uh, and I have a lot, I take a lot of, like, protein powder and stuff throughout the day and, you know, I've, some, like, creatine stuff. I found, stuff. um... Yeah. Cooking is easiest to, to, like, get into the habit of knowing your way around a kitchen by doing um, your own breakfast when you're really sleepy. Because you're so <laughs> sleepy, you can't, you can't decide, you can't think to yourself, ah, fuck it. it. You're so sleepy, you can't even do that. You're just sort of like, okay, uh, put that there, but, oh, crack an egg, smash. <laughs> you know, you're just sort of like, and then before you know it, something goes on a plate and you better eat it. And if it's bad, you better do it good next time. So you're saying I've been making by, a lot of breakfasts for so, myself. So by, it's quite by, good. That, well, that's 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 good. But what by by doing it when you're like sleepy, you you just do it, and you don't even have the energy to question yourself. You just go yeah. through the motions. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. A lot of it too is that if you have food in your house that is readily available to eat, like without preparation, you're more likely mm. to eat that. So if you keep materials in your fridge that you have to prepare. Mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. You're pretty much guaranteed that you're going to start cooking a lot more often. Like many That's a times great point. when I go shopping, I'll get like tons of eggs, tons of uncooked meats and stuff like that. And when I have that in the fridge, I'm more likely to cook than I am to like, you know, eat a cookie or something like that. Yeah. Having like a bag of chips around is a dangerous game when you are trying to like get yourself into cooking more and, uh, you know, like get yourself focused on like you, you want to be in an environment surrounded by the kind of food you want to eat. Because if that's all that's around, it's all you're going to eat. And as oh. long as you, you know, it's it, totally, totally great point. Great and I'm going to rant a little bit here. One mm. thing that is a huge contributor to obesity, especially in American society, is that a lot mm. of people don't realize they're drinking their calories. Because uh, yep. it is, if you look at obesity <clears throat> cases, it is almost impossible to get that fat just eating food alone. Yeah. If you're drinking <laughs> a lot of those calories... I Okay, yeah, the, drinking the calories is a thing that I realize that I would like. I was totally willing to give up uh, drinking calories because, like, I don't mind the taste of like diet drinks. So, like, I know that they've got their own problems and their own their own health issues mm -hmm. associated with them. But I I never ever drink calories. I've switched entirely to diet soda. I think that people who are like I think that people who think diet soda is gross are idiots, and I I hate them. Um, uh, that's Fair all point. I have to say about that. Like, why? I, why? Why would you drink your calories? Because they, they uh, honestly, and this is not to be mean. It's just people just don't think about it. They just this is not like uh, in their consciousness to like worry about what they're consuming. People need to be so much more conscious about what they put inside themselves. And like, I really think that is the issue. For we need from cradle to fucking grave. We need a complete revolution in like I, I don't know. Like for if you live in like. Uh, like Greece or, or, or Japan or somewhere like Mediterranean or like coastal like oceanic places like those guys don't have obesity problems because the food that's around is just like the Mediterranean diet is well known to be like one of the healthiest in the world and then Japan itself they eat a lot of fish they eat a lot of they eat rice but not that much but they have a lot of like different things to choose from it's just the, the environment they're in sort of enables them to just like make smart choices because that's just what's available but in America 
like what's been made available to us is just endless calories in every form you can imagine. Like the fast food stuff we've got, uh, the kind of drinks we have, the huge, you know, mega ultra gulps. Those are all the problem because um, like and they say like, well, a person just needs to choose. Uh, and, like, you know, make smart decisions. The problem just is that people didn't grow up knowing that they're going to make these kind of mistakes and, and, and how to properly take care of their bodies. And, like, it's like a fucking... It's like a fucking adult gauntlet to go through learning how to eat right once you're, like, fucking 20. You start figuring that shit out. When, like, you're in danger of your metabolism starting to slow down and then you start to get fat and shit. And a lot of people just never figure it out. And that's led to the world we're in right now. Yeah. It's fucked up. And we huge- just need to... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go on. I was going to say, a huge part of it, too, is socioeconomic. A lot of the cheapest foods are right, some of the most right. unhealthy. And That's it's a just, huge problem. A lot of mm-hmm. families in poverty and stuff, like, if they're only feeding their kids, like, really cheaply made food, and, you know... That's, there's a reason why child obesity is a problem. It's because these kids are being fed by their parents, and it's shit food. Mm-hmm. You know what's weird is that a lot of the time, I find that, like, ready meals and easy to, you know, really cheap shit uh, is not actually as cheap as just buying a thing of rice and some kidney beans or whatever and making, like, a yeah. a curry. That's like, true. It's so, it's, it, 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 it can feed you for so much more. The for problem so much is, less, though, But nobody, nobody really knows because they're like, I don't know. I don't know how to put it together. Exactly. That, that's exactly. That's People are just ignorant saving. on it. Yep. So they, they just aren't – like, if you buy, like, a huge bag of rice that you'll just, like, scoop out of for a month, I guarantee that will be, like, a million times cheaper than, like, buying fast food every day or whatever. Uh, they, yeah, there's no doubt. There's yeah, no doubt about it. You know, there's one thing. There's one thing that I've learned, and I don't know – I, I, so, I, I, I kind of take it for granted that uh, my parents have so many nice glasses mm. that are made of glass. <laughs> uh-huh. But, like, I drink water all the time, and I'm not really a soda boy. And I think it's because I don't drink out of plastic cups. Plastic makes water taste like shit. If you have, like, glasses <laughs> that you drink water out of, they act- it actually tastes better. It tastes juicy. I would encourage people <laughs> to drink water out of glasses, even tap water. All right. So Something about the lip touchery is, like, it, it, it makes it nicer to drink, and then you will drink more water if you have nice glasses. Substituting water for just whatever the fuck people are drinking right now would just do so much to to help this issue. Uh, yeah, that that would be great. I, I drink mostly water these days, and then just water mixed with like protein powder and shit. What this yep. goes back to is my famous legendary vlog, Watery Advice. <laughs> Indeed, you keep Rally bringing that up because it's the most <laughs> influential thing ever created. And it, it, it's it's inspired a generation. Uh, it's I, just it's just a brain blast, but you filmed it. Yeah, it is well, exactly yeah, that's right. it. It's just a brain blast I had where it's like showering feels really good. And that's and that's how I feel about about like like uh eating well and like working out and stuff, is that like you don't wanna do it because like like in the moment while you're doing it it might not like feel like incredible. But mm-hmm. afterward and even a lot of the times during it, it will feel great. I know yep. whenever I take yep. a walk and you know I, I I do I do good health stuff and I cook my own meal and stuff, it feels empowering and it feels like I've just I've just fucking I've done it I've reached godly status and I've walked a mile <laughs> and you know I I've done it I've defeated health. That's it, exactly just, right, Munchie. It's it's mm-hmm. so like like a lot of people will be turned off by it, but like you really have to like push through it. And once you're done with it, I guarantee it will, it will be worth it and you will feel like you've accomplished something. There is one concept that separates us from the animals. And I've said it before, but it is delayed gratification. Delayed gratification is the entire reason why humans have gotten to the place we're at right now. Cuz we're willing to put an effort in the short term uh, to get greater results in the long term. That's how we started it, it, farming way even... back in the day. Yeah, go on. It, it, it's not even like directly like yes, like I I've done this you know hard thing, but I will be rewarded later because I will be thinner. It just I, is I will like, wait 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 I will be rewarded by the Lord of Light. There we go, everyone. Hey. Yeah, I did it. nice. I did it. Good. Game of Thrones. <laughs> it, it, Game it's of just Thrones. like almost immediately after eating good food, especially stuff like broccoli. It right. just it feels good. It fe- broccoli tastes I, I don't even... like you're a good person. It, that, it, that's true. It it does, but I don't even mean long term, as in like you know, in yeah. a year you'll feel better. I mean it, that like, like when you're in the when you're in the planning stages of like, what am I gonna eat? I've got like I've got some food in my fridge I could cook. 
or I could order IHOP pancakes and have them delivered here. I got these two choices. And, like, the easy way is to just, like, order that shit. But we all know the right answer. Incidentally, I ordered pancakes from IHOP, not yesterday, but the day before. That's just because I just, like it's not even about it is a barbaric. Health, it's not even a health thing. It's just like a it's like an IHOP pancake. Why are you doing this? To okay, the, my 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 pitiful excuse that I would never accept from anyone was just that I felt sick and wanted pancakes. That's my that's my excuse. It's fucking I, people IHOP need chicken. Is like the worst. It I did get chicken, chicken fried soup. steak. I got chicken fried steak with southern gravy. <laughs> that was nice. Fuck? No, <laughs> no, you need a chicken broth. You need you need a soups. You're right. Oh my god. Right. Okay, this is slightly <laughs> off topic, but it's related to Pokemon Go. Uh, one of my rituals, yeah. at, like a, 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 after playing the game every mm-hmm. uh, Sunday, it was I'll go to this like local ramen place, and ramen has quickly become like my favorite food. It ramen is, is the best food. Delightful. It's so not, good. Not like 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 top ramen shit, which I do in fact love. But, like Obviously going to like not. a real place. Yeah, it you get that fucking half delicious. an egg just floating in there, and yes, the Naruto just, in there delicious. and shit. Uh, for the month of May, hell yeah, there 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 was like a, a specialty ramen that it was like Mexican ramen that had like carnitas and stuff in it, and, mm-hmm. and like and mm-hmm. like chives and stuff, and it was fucking it was spicy, delicious, fucking I'm ramen, go. ten out of ten, eat it every day. And uh, uh, just to, ramen does have a pretty high density of calories. What with the uh, what with the noodles and all, but I, but you get a lot of good, good shit in there as it's well. Uh, so. Well, not if not if you eat uh, not if you eat that ramen from the world ends with you, where they just put an entire steak on top of it. That's an entire what? An entire remember world ends with you. There was that like yeah, there was the yeah. mom and pop ramen shop, and then there was like the big trendy chain ramen place, and mm-hmm. like they went to check out the big trendy chain that was putting the mom and, and pop. Ra- Try saying mom and uh-huh. pop ramen shop five times fast. <laughs> um, and, and they were like, holy shit, they just put an entire steak on top of the ramen bowl. Um, oh, a steak. A e- steak. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Fucking awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty fucking dope. I, mean, I can see Frank, why mom and pop are obsolete. Frankly, now. frankly, out with the old and with the new. <laughs> uh, excellent. All right, guys, uh, let, let, let let's let's veer towards our conclusion here. We've been going for about an hour. Uh, what what are the what are the important messages we want people to take away from our little discussion here? Walk outside, you'll be happy. Like you will be happy. I guarantee you. Walk to like your local like you know church. <laughs> Go and pray like a good Christian man should. I would and, say take uh, a yeah, take a walk. Good. If you're listening to this and you're yeah. not a fit boy and you want to get you want to be a fit boy, take a walk today. You know fucking what? Today. Okay, new fucking hashtag mm-hmm. PCP fit life. Whenever there's a new Shit. episode of the PCP, you want to be an Ubermensch, listen to the PCP while taking a walk or going to the gym and take a selfie, and I will retreat you from the PCP account on Twitter. The PCP okay. will retweet okay. you. If you take like a selfie and you're in the gym while watching to the latest PCP, take this journey with us. <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah. Let's do yeah, we'll do that. Hashtag PCP fit life. Was that was that it? Or was it fitness yeah, we life? Yeah, we can go with something more catchy, probably. <laughs> I like okay, hashtag PCP fit life. Fucking send us that shit and we will look at it and we'll retweet it from the Twitter. PC uh PCP fit. carb Oh Christ. Banatious. We're making this hard. <laughs> I don't understand anything. Uh delete it. <laughs> something. Something like that. Uh, do it. Fucking do okay. it. Yeah. Does anyone else have a final resting Ooh, place? They want I to... do. Yeah. Basically, what do you got? the nice part about fitness is that it makes you better at everything. Mm. Literally everything. Thinking, moving around, lifting up household objects, going from point A to point B. It's one of those things where it's like there's no logical reason not to do it. Unless That's you're true. trying to get the world record for world's fattest man. <laughs> Other than that, though, like it's one of those things where even if you're not an athlete, it's still important to maintain a basic level. Like, cause it just like I said, yeah. it makes you better at everything. So why not do it? Mm-hmm. That, that's actually true. Just like w- like there there have been times in my life where I've been like somewhat normal and not and not the monster that that stands before you today. <laughs> uh-huh. And it just like feels better to be alive. It feels like like it's like after like you know I, I do something healthy. It just feels good to just sit back down at your computer and just breathe in that that good air with your with it's, your good Spartan lungs. I often think about it like this. Like think about the human beings that we are descended from. You know they were out fucking running around every single day. And if you're literally just sitting in front of a computer. Every day, 
you are probably doing something wrong. You're you're not doing what your body requires to to operate at maximum capacity. So don't think fitness is not an option. Fitness is not an optional thing that you can maybe do if you want to get super ribs. Everyone should exercise in some capacity. You should do it every single day. Even I don't do it every single day. But we all should do it every day. That is the ideal, and that is what we should all be shooting to be doing. And, and if you're not, I think, yeah, I mean, you know, you're fucking up a little bit. You're fucking up. I think if if people have like a difficulty, uh, just try and add on, uh, try and do something that you wanted to do that just so happens to be physical. Like if you want to get better, you want to level up Pokemon Go, you can go for more walks. That's, that's a very easy one. If you have a dog, you can walk the dog and do. You know that that's exercise in itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want, you know, you could do an instrument, or, or you know, play, playing a drums would get you a lot of a lot of movement. You know, just pick a hobby that is uh, like collaterally exercising you. If you can't like sure, bear the thought sure. of just going and and doing it by itself. Yeah. I, I know this advice might seem somewhat shallow, especially coming from me, because obviously I, I I'm preaching and not doing. Uh, but <laughs> I, I genuinely do like like have a lot of respect for people who do fitness because it is just a like a real good and uh, it's it take it's a massive undertaking to you know do it uh, consistently and become a, a fitness ubermensch and it's uh, really inspiring and great. Uh, I'm not gonna change anything in my life basically, but uh, <laughs> good. It's good. Well, it's, it's good. not important <laughs> to be an ubermensch. It's a, it's it's enough. Because like that, that was the thing with the the whole compet- competitive like yeah. nature of like school is like oh if you're not the most fit then what are you even doing like it's not important to be the biggest boy it it's just important to be not a piece of shit exactly right uh-huh. also one more thing I want to add is that a lot mm-hmm. of people they don't want to change their diet or their exercise because they want to wait until it's like a convenient time in their lives to do it. Mm-hmm. But there is mm-hmm. never you a are convenient dying. time. You are dying yeah. right now. <laughs> That's a good point. Good the point. first best time to get started was yesterday, but the second best time is right now. Yeah, that yeah. that is the most important mm. thing. Begin immediately. Uh, just like <laughs> I say in my like Mia Math of a shit, it's like like if you're inspired by something, if you just if you realize there's something you should have been doing all along, the time to start is immediately, not tomorrow, not the next day. Just you know, in whatever capacity you can. Begin looking into it. Take that walk. Take that Take walk. Take that walk right just, now. Just start Don't shifting wait for the your end mindset. Of the episode. Go right now. Get your fucking That's right. car. Or no, not right, your car. Put on some yeah. clothes. There goes. Just fucking yeah. do it. And then, listen uh, to this while you walk. You know, or whatever you want to do. Yeah, listen. But you'll probably be listening for a half an hour. You'll Don't take a half an hour walk, probably, if you listen to the end of this, or give or take, and you'll be so happy that you did. I guarantee. While we, uh, guarantee while we answer it. our fucking uh, pity questions and our uh, PCP patron line questions, right? Are we, are we wrapping up? Are we, are we headed in the, in that I, direction? I, I think we're wrapping I, I up. I think so. Fitness I think is so. good. You are a god. Hashtag PCP <laughs> fit life. That's the one. Hashtag PCP Fit Life. Send us pictures. Update us on your shit. We will retweet them. Also, send us suggestions whatnot. for better names. We will come up with a better name next week. I like that. I think that was pretty good. But whatever. Okay. I fair think enough. it'll work. Fair enough. If it sticks, then it'll stick. Uh, all right. Let's see what we got here. Questions from the Twitter. Hashtag yeah, Ask PCP. Pity questions. I'll, I'll pity questions. Um, okay. Let me see what we got here. Good about, question. Seems like an oxymoron. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go. At Chemotherapy, Chemotherapy asks, uh, do you think that all criticism needs to be somewhat constructive to have any value or merit? No. Uh, well, no? it depends on what they mean by constructive. If they mean nice, then of course not. But if they mean like... Yeah. There, there's, like, like you... When I hear constructive, I just mean you I, can get okay. something out of it. I, I, yeah, yeah, I pretty don't. Much. I don't think like criticism. Okay, constructive criticism is valuable to the creator theoretically. Mm-hmm. I don't think yeah, right. that it needs to be valuable to the creator to be worth saying or worthwhile. I I, I agree. I think sure. I think most criticism is constructive. Like you, the only thing that would be like unconstructive is like somebody complaining about something that isn't even true. Basically, and, uh, basically. But even but even that is like well, there's they clearly had. Uh, a, a misinterpretation that's but, it's maybe not as clear as, as you thought it was. But, but, like, yeah. that's a problem. What if, what if I, you know, am watching one of your Dark Souls streams, and I see you make a mistake, and I, and I have a thought. It's like, well, okay, you should probably improve your skills. And just for, for, for shorthand, <laughs> I say that you should probably just, you know, get good. That would be 
a positive change. What do you, what, what, you know? What if I'm, what if I'm waiting? <laughs> I'm, I'm clicking F5. I'm refreshing day in, day out, just waiting on the Hypocrite channel for that fabled video series to find release Rayman. that you promised. You promised the promise viewers that. for months now. It's too late. We believe that you Rayman promised Rayman 2 to finally is. grace our presence. <laughs> It's been long enough. <laughs> I'm tired. I need it. I well, need Rayman okay, too. I, I, most most constructive, uh, most comments that are criticizing, they have like, I mean, people want to sound like the smart guy, so they yeah, will make yeah. an explanation sort of like, this is what I don't like about this. Even if they're completely wrong and they just misinterpreted it, that's still like, I mean, you could never be perfect. You can never mm-hmm. communicate, mm-hmm. as we, as we know that language doesn't work. Uh, you can never communicate perfectly to everybody, so people will always miss miss certain things. Mm-hmm. But there's always some way to improve the ability to explain what your point is in yeah. a way that less yeah. people will get confused. So I, I think most criticism is constructive in that way. I I feel like yeah. okay, con- okay, criticism can come in a lot of ways. I feel like if you are leaving a comment on a video on YouTube, for example, to be practical, I feel like you, I wouldn't, I don't know if I want to use the word owe it, but I feel like you should probably have some sort of constructive criticism in the sense that you at least like tell the person why something's bad. I feel like an example of like a comment that's not good is you suck die, but a, a, yeah, but a comment yeah. that could be great is you suck die, uh, that toupee looks fake. Well, you know what? You know what? I actually like, kind of want to explaining why you should die. Is I kind of want to go back on that a little because I actually, I, I am, I consider myself a super charitable person in terms of like what other people say. If someone comments in a video of mine, "You suck, die," where my, I mean, of course, I'll, I'll probably be just like, "Oh, my feelings," but beyond that, I'll think like, "Okay, why did this person say that?" Mm-hmm. And most likely, I probably put something in a video that was like controversial or whatnot. So, at like. You can look at it and just be like, well, okay, this person is just expressing negativity. They're not being specific. But we know that they said that for some reason. Un- and unless and they're I like a pure the troll. I want to yeah. know. Yeah. But if, if we can just like – if everyone's t- giving you shit for like one thing you did wrong in a video, let's say, uh, and you like – you're aware that it could have been like a, a hot button issue and you get a comment like that, then you could, you could possibly charitably interpret that to be like, ah, the, here is yet another voice – criticizing me for doing this thing well yeah yeah you don't you, you have to understand the context of, yeah, of like yeah, the wider sure. variety of thing but i think people do owe it to themselves to explain themselves because if they don't explain themselves there's a chance that the person they're talking to will never understand very what the true was. very and, true and i'm not asking for a lot here i don't want to like here's what you did wrong here's how it can be better like listen to my essay just like any indication of why i suck and should die is good enough just like tell me why a video yeah, yeah all right can't, all right people can't read minds mm-hmm. i mean sometimes people have a criticism that's like uh i don't know like like fit here has gotten criticism for just like uh people Existing just straight up and make you well, videos yeah <laughs> i mean i just just as one example, not that I agree, of course, but people have, like, criticized you for, like, exposing 2B2T to, like, the normos. And that, you know, so they're kind of just criticizing you on a fundamental concept of, like, what you're doing. But there's just a straight-up disagreement on how, like, of course, your sure. big video about how, um, you know, your big, uh, exposing, uh, the, sorry, I forget the name of the guy who owns the server or whatever. Oh, house. house Master. Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> that, that was that so video. cool. That was an intense fucking yeah, video. Incredible. I loved it. But, like, so, you, I mean, your, your stuff, like, saved the server by, by just bringing attention to it. So, uh, of course, if you were one of those, like, five people who was, like, playing 2B2T back in those days and, you know, like, you were like, yay, my secret club. I love having, like, one other person online sometimes. Uh, and, of course, now things have changed. Like, oh, look at these fucking, you know, noobs all showing up. I could get why they wouldn't like that. But you just have a fundamental different approach. You're trying to, like, resuscitate a community here. So that's a very fundamental disagreement in, like, intentions here. So, like, that that criticism could be very, like, honest. They could say it in a helpful way. But if you just fundamentally disagree on the premise of their criticism, then, like, frankly, there's not a lot to take from it other than, ah, there are people who have a descending opinion on this thing. Uh huh. Absolutely. A lot of times yeah. too, like when there is a criticism in that regard, like "Oh, you're mm-hmm. exposing our server to the masses." Like, I understand their genuine concern. Like, they wanted mm-hmm. their secret little club. You know, I totally get it. So it's like, I, <laughs> I sympathize with your situation, but sadly, I disagree with you. That's that's indeed what it Indeed. comes down to. 
What a yeah. great question. This was actually really nice. Thank you. Twitter. Froggy Sleuth, a.k.a. at Chemotherapy. Nice job. Nice mm-hmm. job. The other ones uh, are all bad. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, wait, let's, wait, wait. I forgot. Let's... At Neverpaint, what's your favorite type of dinosaur? Not bad. Not bad. The, the one T-Rex, from Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park alive! TM, TM Jurassic Park, trademarked. <laughs> That's the end. Moving uh, on. My favorite uh, investigator. Is <laughs> yes. He, he is he's brother to dinosaurs. dinosaurs. He is descended. Okay. Alligators, Let's go to the... Uh, alligators represent. Hey, yeah, everybody. Uh, Patreon.com like slash... <laughs> Patreon.com slash the procrastinators. Get yourself into the questions bar on our Discord server. So we'll actually read your question. So it's not a pity question. A mere pity question. Uh, let's see what we got. You, you, you got any picked out, peeps? I'm still uh, looking. A lot of them are either, like, essays or, like, what's your favorite anime tier? Uh, so, okay, okay. Here's yeah, an okay. example of what we're getting here from Zan. What's your – what? what is your favorite healthy fat? Like, they're so – like, okay, oh, healthy uh, fat, what does that mean? I got mean? one. Well, you gotta, what, I got what, one. What you got to get those omega sixes. Well, there's uh, there's so so fats are broken into oh, a couple different fats. kinds. Okay. There are there are saturated fats and there are unsaturated fats. Then you've got polyunsaturated fats and you've got monounsaturated fats. I didn't you want the, the polyunsaturated <laughs> fats are statistically speaking the most quote unquote healthy because what makes it a polyunsaturated is that so the way that a uh, the way that a, 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 a triglyceride, which is what a fat uh, molecule is the way it works is that it's got this string of like I think they're carbon atoms with lots of like hydrogens attached to the carbons off the side and what makes it an, a, a saturated um, molecule is that when every possible link that has a hydrogen attached to those carbon atoms is there it is saturated that it's got as much mass as possible but you can have a covalent double bond between uh, carbon atoms that use up some of those possible links that could otherwise be attached to hydrogen atoms. And so when you have, like, if you have that same molecule that just has lost a bunch of those hydrogens and you have, like, connections between those carbon atoms, uh, then it it just has less mass because a lot of those hydrogen atoms uh, are just missing. And so it's like a lighter molecule than you'd otherwise have. Um, And so... uh, so if you have a monounsaturated, that means a single hydrogen is missing, which means it's a little bit lighter. But if you have a polyunsaturated uh, triglyceride, that is a fat molecule that has, is missing a whole, at least two, and probably more hydrogen atoms. Therefore, it's it's less. And, and the, the good thing about those is those can absorb wayward hydrogen atoms in your digestive system, which actually is a is a helpful, healthy, like, cleansing mechanism because those extra hydrogen atoms hanging out in your gut can be negative for health. And they, they can, like, cause cancer and, like, can fuck up shit. Um, uh, so, but I'm going to go with polyunsaturated triglycerides. It's, all, my it's all about those omega sixes. It's all about them fish oil pills. It's all about those fish birds. Yeah. You know what I'm By saying? the way, an omega six, I, uh, what, what an omega six means, if I remember, remember correctly is the omega refers to like a particular like end of the, of the, one of the molecules on the triglyceride and the six like is the number like from that end. So I th- if I remember correctly, I think an omega six means like from the omega end of one of the strands of the carbon atoms, like six down, there is a missing uh, carbon atom there. And that's why like it, it counts up to that. And like, that's like good or something. It's something along those lines. It's about which like hydrogen atoms missing and, and it's healthier. So there you go. And that's why they're good. Cause they clean up stray hydrogen atoms in your body. Guppel from the Patreon Lounge asks, are there any foods that are objectively horrible and should be avoided at all costs? Soda, obviously, is one. Soda is a big oh. one. Soda's a big one. Um, what else is there? Uh, you know, I've actually been struggling because my favorite thing to consume in this world is orange, orange juice. juice. Yeah. Orange juice, yeah. The thing is, orange juice is terrifically calorie dense. Uh, and uh. it's... Isn't it good for digestion? I mean, Isn't there fiber uh, in it. Well, it, it depends on your goals. Actually, the thing about the thing about orange juice is that you you miss out on t- <coughs> excuse me tons of fiber that you would have gotten if you just eaten an orange. So well, true. They always say that uh, when it comes to vegetables, drink your vegetables, eat your fruits is the common thing they say because drinking fruit juice has a lot of calories and will you know make you fat. Whereas drinking vegetables. Like, vegetables have way less calories, and you get all, like, the, the vitamins and stuff from a vegetable by drinking it. So uh, feel free to drink your vegetables and uh, eat your eat your fruits, everybody. Yeah, plus So I, I've been cutting it down. Yeah, yeah, go on. I was going to say, orange juice, it has so much sugar in it, and a lot of people think that, oh, it's a natural yep, yep, sugar, yep. so it's okay for me. Well, uh, <laughs> nah, nah. Nah, guys. 
<coughs> I mean, sugar comes from sugar cane. It's natural. Ben, you've been typing this entire fucking episode. Oh, shit. What the hell you are you typing? Hear, you guys can hear that? I've been hearing it the whole <laughs> goddamn astronauts episode. Astronauts on the space station are going to hear that fucking keyboard, <laughs> Ben. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'll edit that out later. <laughs> well, uh, well, I should say right. so. I should say so. All right. Great. Um, except for this one to make the joke work. Uh, <laughs> Chip uh, Wiseman from the Pageant yeah, Lounge. Yeah, what do you got? Uh, uh, this is I, something I'm extremely interested in. Best workout mix. Like vapor music? Wave. Yeah, music. No, 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 you can't. <laughs> Not vapor wave. Anything You need vapor something wave. to pump you up. Uh, for me, it's various anime openings that get me hyped, <laughs> and, and th- that's pretty much uh, what S- it is. S Cascade is mine. But that's when it all comes tumbling down. Uh, uh, whenever I take off or land on an airplane, I always time it so that I, I like the little intro do 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 starts in Cascade. I always try yeah. and time like everything in my life to be in line with Cascade and Descent. <laughs> my he only travels weird. on four thirteen. I'm a big fan of uh, Sabaton while hitting mm. my dick with a hammer because it builds manliness. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna release so much testosterone into your system by doing that yeah that's that's I a, know. you know we, we we've been beating around the bush steroids don't bother just hit your dick with a hammer it's you're really cutting out the middle you need man a gel. you need a fucking gel <laughs> there's no, no activity more beneficial to muscle gain than jelking that's for sure dude, dude I'm it's the only muscle that matters that's, gonna, that's, my, that's my resolution to, to jelk hardcore, yeah. To, to yeah. jelk so hard that I elevate off the floor thirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be like like I'm gonna like, like I'm gonna like pull up and it's gonna be like such gravity with my hand that I'm going to like like a, like jump up without having to move any of my muscles. Next, yeah. Next to the Olympic clean and jerk is the equally renowned <laughs> Olympic jelk. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Oh, excellent. Hey, uh, Yellow Poon asks, uh, have you guys seen Pain and Gain? If so, then how do you feel about the workout slash gym bro culture presented in movies? Now, so Pain and Gain is like a, is like a muscle head kind of movie. Th- those guys become murderers and like go off the fucking rails. So <laughs> like this is a bit of an extreme example. <laughs> but a-, a little bit. A little like, bit. E- everything was that. great about Pain and Gain until they started murdering people. Uh, like things were going oh, really well. That. <laughs> I, I mean, I think you know, it improved. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But like, there's a there's a spirit of camaraderie, of brotherhood that that's nice with like gym buddies and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I can a, appreciate that. A spirit that. of unity and, and solidarity, like like yeah. in pre World War II Germany. You know, everyone was <laughs> really right. getting on board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were weeding out the weak yeah. and uh, preserving we, the strong. We. We yeah, were we, we, yes. Nate says. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I did some time in Venezuela. I moved here recently. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Jimbro culture is kind of stereotypicalized and gets a bad rap. But, like, I, I, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of, quote-unquote, gym bros, like, at the gym I go to. But they're just, like, nice guys who, like, work normal blue-collar jobs and then love working out and hanging out with each other. I, I, and, like, this is, like, the of... demon of gym bro culture. Yeah. Like, guys having goals, achieving them, and feeling good about themselves. Oh, no, what a nightmare. It's just because a lot of movie directors are fucking nerds. Yeah, they're a bunch of fucking, fucking uh, 98-pound <laughs> soaking wet, twink-ass yeah. Hollywood directors. It's definitely true. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And so they're, like, fucking... Chad stole Veronica from me in sixth uh, grade. I have to you know, see Steven, you know Steven who, Spielberg really needs to to hit the gym. Steven Spielberg you, you know who really needs to smashes the puss. You know who gets all the girls and lifts five thousand pounds a day? My hero Sam Hyde. And just like him, <laughs> I, <laughs> I I persevere on my path towards greatness. That's right. That's right. Um all right. I, uh, I, I think we're pretty good on questions, though there is one other section I wanted to do, which was our fan art appreciation section. Oh, that we're, right. we're, we're making a, a thing. thing. Is this new? We're doing now. This is a new thing. That's right. That's it's a new thing. Holy now now this will be brief. There's there's not a lot to go through, but keep, there's keep some this, good keep stuff. This brief. I don't I don't want the yeah. yeah that's we don't. Not true. We don't. I, love, I love I love it. I love it. <laughs> I now, can't believe the PCP is ripping off Friar Fergus Cop Killers by having fan art. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know. And that, that's, looking that's at very it of all things. Yeah. Now now here is a great one. I love this. This comes from our boy Dino Spinach. Now, let, let me post this in the chat here. Take a look at this masterpiece. This is I, a I, color, I, pal- a no, color no, profile selector. I, I 
I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh-huh. This this has been like a common rebuttal to Mean Ben's you know talking in the Red Cop Killers episode about PCP yeah. colors, mm-hmm. and this approach of two colors makes no sense to no, me. It's what, no, it's genius. What are you I talking about? It, I love it. makes it. perfect no sense. sense. It makes See, okay. It makes, why I think the have... two colors. The rowdy fucker's house is divided. Th- therefore, it's invalidated. Okay, <laughs> I, I um, think yeah, the two I, colors. No, this is, is great, and I it, like it because mine is the best, um, and that's all there is to it. Um, <laughs> you look like a delicious black and white. My one, I guess my one problem is that the, hippo and devu are too similar i i i, I think the concept of having two colors is okay i just think most of these choices are kind of bad especially mine which looks like shit um Look at mine. I, I what, what what sense you know yeah, i think this person took the like like yours only makes sense with that avatar which like eh, you know you could, a couple of these i would i wouldn't fully agree with like Digi's i mean i little, love mine i love mine <laughs> i think that yours is i would give you but more like of a the purple. entire the entire well okay point I, I don't like your the colors because your is, color scheme is, there is like the rowdy fuckers signifier. color scheme well 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 mudgy we're talking primary and secondary color so everyone has their primary color and then there's also what, what a secondary, secondary color. What would used for? I don't what, fucking ever, know. Whatever it doesn't you matter. Yeah, whatever you wish. For, whatever you please. For I, I, pig, I don't understand. Why? Wait, what is and, not? And, that's I, hard to understand. I don't... There, there's no point to me. There's no point in well, no, hey, There's no, okay, po- there's hey, no a, point to you. Why don't, why don't we actually do our buddy Dino Spanish the courtesy of reading his text that he provided with us as, as a sort of guide? So, it's a couple of sentences. Here, here we go. So I thought about this during the Rowdy Fuckers Cop Killers getting over it with Bennett Foddy episode, uh, but I got motivated to make this after the free speech podcast, if for no other reason than it forced me to work on something art-related. Okay, blah, blah, who cares? Let's get let's get back to us. Let's, let's keep it on focus here. Um, I feel like giving each member a dual color pro Profile makes it easier to use similar colors that are shared by PCB members. It's magenta-ish colors for Digi and Mage, cyan turquoise colors for Davu and Hippo, as well as being more visually cohesive for members that have more than one color typically associated with them, like Ben's black and white. Also, it makes it easy to come up with simplified avatars if need be, if the PCB wants to streamline the aesthetics of the podcast mm. screen. These are I good mean, reasons. These are good thoughts. I like, I like Ben's. I like Digi's and Mage's. Tom's is a bit I don't know. Tom's is interesting. That blue, Tom's is, interesting. Tom's is, interesting. That blue is, little, is exactly the same as Davu's. Blue. Aesthetically, Tom's is a little. It's true. I, it's a true. Little actually, weak. I mean, Th- I, this it, mine mine isn't cool. It's not the right type. Of, yeah, this is the real shit. I don't like your. Okay, well, I, mean, even, I, I love how this is the fan art appreciation, and we are <laughs> shitting. <on that. laughs> well, this is like a business decision. Like, yeah, we're, we're is, talking about the real I shit. Mean, it's I. I really. I really give this the the the. I think like this dual color system. Even if we don't like the specific colors offered. Is a good idea. A, I do. A backup I, secondary I, color. I like it. I, I I will die on this hill. I will fucking die okay, on this hill. All right. I absolutely oppose. This I mean, two, I this two maybe I'm biased because I, as, as the black and white guy, I am yeah. kind of you know I need to you know one one doesn't do it for me. Um, uh, sure, sure. But I think it makes sense for everyone else. You know. I mean, it, we need unity. We can't have this this, this <laughs> do, miasma do, do, do you of think colors. This, Munchie, oh, do you think it can be magenta or it can be purple willy nilly? No, we need yeah. the hard facts. We need one. <laughs> well, the one is uh, the primary. All right, all right. The one is the should the one should be but, the primary. Then why even color? have the secondary if it oh it doesn't matter at all? No, just pick just the primary. Then well, why just even to, have just it? to further differentiate because there's not that many colors on the wheel. We it's, need to do, have do, them do you be. Think, do you separate think, enough so they don't need a secondary. Munchie, That's the whole do you point think so they can that stand this, alone. Do you think that this is like a mealy mouth kind of like limp wristed compromise that is like 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 not like like too too much of a compromise to even be worth doing? I, that, I think it's too much feel? of a compromise, and I think that it we, we like we're not paying attention to what really matters, and that's what's giving like the reason we're talking about this is because every person needs to be defined by one color that makes them stand out. They well, primary colors, that then secondary, and all little, but then baby, why even tiny have the secondaries if they just complicate things further? Oh, just for clarity to help when we, when necessary. No, okay, you know there what? can be no help. That's cheating. <laughs> that is fucking right. cheating. We, we need to have we... one color. That's the point, is if we have think, one color that makes it so that you can easily <laughs> identify them from a glance. You can't have a fucking magnifying glass finding all oh, oh, the primary the colors in, 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 right, in each right. fucking Here. drawing of Nate. You can't have that. All right, here's the thing. The, there will be, like, a... a, a mo- the most, like, good-looking co- co- collection of all the colors... If we, if everyone is together, but I think the point of having a secondary color is, if 
like two of them when uh, they're just alone, like two people uh, using their primary color. The primary and co uh, color of both people is uh, is you know is too similar, so one of them can use their secondary color. And I no. guess that's the point. But I still feel like. I, I feel like I feel like I am agreeing more that, with my. That, that this color so is this color that debate. Would just be so inconsistent. Say, say if if you're with fucking I don't know I, I don't know like like like, Davu and like Hippo are there. Yeah. It's it's still gonna and, and then and then on the next one on on the fucking next one it's Davu and I don't know someone else. It, you're not gonna have that consistency that you need. That the entire point of this is to have consistency and have one person be represented in color all the time. That needs to be consistent. Okay, I, 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 we don't need to settle this right now. Uh, no, Dino Spinach, uh, great job. Yeah, great. Oh <laughs> we Dino love Spinach. It. We love. We it. all are fantastic. Yeah. Let's if, our, if you, if you see below it. that, if you see below that, that's the colors that I want. D Digi is still. I'm still not happy with Digi, but this yeah. is generally. I, I think this is. I think this is the way the wind's blowing. I think this is what we need to have. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, so here, here's here's the next little art that we're going to be appreciating. Oh, let me get that. This is by Cappy. It's by Cappy, and uh, it's uh, it's a little alley oop with some snakes. Oh, yeah. I mean, some I, of these are just specific to like individual guys, but whatever, it's fine. It's in the chat. The, this per this person doesn't know what I was doing, and I was streaming, and they saw this. I was drawing this of a uh, part of my webcomic that is is currently ongoing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this is alley oop uh, throwing some snakes? Oh, she's throwing them. I thought she was doing like a cool like hand across yeah. face like pose as they attack. I, I thought they were like you know? I thought they were coming out from behind her like Doctor Octopus arms. You know? Yeah, me too. Me too. All right. Well, whatever. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> I, I, I like the style here. I like the style yeah, here. Yeah, looks good. Um, now there's a bunch from our our boy Miles Seawind. Let me let me link these. You guys will enjoy these. I am sure. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Uh, let me get. Let me get the others when, here. When are, oh, the, are God, these are, like? Are these like from the last week? These were made. Yeah, these, these were posted in the last the week. Yeah. Digi's looking on Wednesday. very. Digi's looking very rowdy fuckers right he, now. He's looking he, really that's true. normal in this. He's looking like really like. <laughs> Digi's got the the Cal Arts mouth. I can I know. Munchy with right the there. cotton candy. Oh, he does. Hair. I like that. Yeah, I do like that. That's a good. Oh aesthetic. God! Can you like imagine if I was a faggot, aka now, and I and I had like thick rimmed glasses and, and and like candy hair, and 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 I had the Kellogg's art style in real life, and like you had <laughs> like one side of your head was shaved, and like yeah, uh, yeah, I can imagine it. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, <laughs> these are imagine these are if, what if Munchie was me. in Steven Universe. <laughs> what what would there, that look like? There, there it is. <laughs> Nobody knows. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now, I, I checked on Twitter. There weren't any submissions with the hashtag. It was PCP fan art or hashtag PCP art. You know, you, I'll, I'll check either one. Uh, didn't see any there. So, so we're, we're, getting, we're getting this thing off the ground. You know, this mm -hmm. is going to be edited in. You're going to see these images. We're, we're just getting started with this shit. So uh, keep doing them. Keep sending them. And, mm -hmm. we'll, uh, and we'll, we'll fucking put them on the screen. And if you're in the fucking uh, the Discord group, post them right in the, uh, in the goddamn... Fuck, whatever it's called, like the fan art fan chat. Fan art warehouse. Fan art warehouse. Post them there, and that'll be a nice, easy place to, to have everything there for, for the patrons, for the patrons. But if you don't got that, use Twitter. Hashtag PCB fan art. Hashtag PCB art. So beyond that, the only other thing to talk about is um, there's, the, there's the whole music theme contest. But the only thing is we've only still got one entrant right now. So I'm feeling like we just, we just hold off and say, as you can see, people, we're, the machinery is underway. Send us more goddamn hashtag... PCP theme. Shit. We need that goddamn stuff to listen to. We've only gotten one submission so far. It's from, uh, I think it was from, um, fuck, AJ what was Shub, it? AJ I believe. AJ Shoop, of course. Of course it was Ooh, AJ Shoop. Our boy. I, I haven't heard it. I haven't heard it, but he's good. I, I want to yeah. listen to that. We will listen to it on the show, guaranteed. Maybe if if, by, if we don't hear anything by next week, if nobody else submits something, then we just gotta, we just gotta give this a, it's crack on the show. He's yeah. been waiting. He's, he's been waiting. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to show a couple at once, you know, just so people would have the spectrum. So, um, get off your fucking lazy asses, people. Make some PCP <laughs> themes make already. Stuff for free. Make yeah. us stuff for free. Piece what are you doing? What are you doing? Be like AJ Shoop. He's your he's your role model here. Uh, but for now, all right, that's it, everybody. That that, 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 that will close the book on this on this fan appreciation uh, segment of the show. Well, that's it, Shit. I guess. We, we we've done it. Hey, PCP money. Patreon.com slash the procrastinators. One dollar, you're in the chat. 
five dollars, you get all the bonus episodes. I think that might be fourteen right now, maybe fifteen. I, f- I forget the number. If, That's so much shit. The PCP is going to get to the point where it's one hour of topic and then two hours of selling out, begging for money, and self <laughs> and fan jerking <laughs> off. I pray for that day every year. I mean, that's the goal. That is the goal. That's I mean, every, the goal. everything else is just an excuse to do that. I, yeah, without a doubt. Uh, I, at TP Crass News on Twitter, follows for shit. Hey, and by the way, you're welcome for dragging this episode out so that you've had enough time to take your long half an hour walk, mm. my, my fit friends. Hope you didn't forget to do that <laughs> shit. I ho- I Now's hope your time you to enjoyed, feel bad. I hope you enjoyed uh, us talking about fan art while you were walking with your phone in your pocket, not able to see any of what we were talking about. Well, that's a personal problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we're done, everybody. Oh. Hey, Fit, thanks for oh. being here, buddy. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks it for having me. Oh, yeah. Like I said, oh, it was, it was the glorious. greatest crossover of all time. Of <laughs> all time. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Uh, the most g- ambitious you crossover something? of all time. <laughs> Fitness and Minecraft <laughs> crossed with drugs hardcore drug use uh gib were, were you saying something well, i was asking if fit you want to plug anything oh yeah you yeah plug your channel um speaking of progressing your fitness journey and having it be a colossal failure in a government database follow my instagram <laughs> fit mc sippy cup do it that's a guy what, should do that what's dude what's the origin of that name sippy cup all right i used to have this water bottle that i drink from when i was streaming and it had a straw <laughs> <laughs> like it's one of those types of water bottles and yeah, my fans yeah. kept calling it a sippy cup and it, just, <laughs> it just escalated that's dope that's dope uh word up peace out everybody uh, i'll see you in hell this is the procrastinator signing out thanks for being here give us more free shit Bye. <laughs> go get yourself a treat. Yeah, get yourself a treat. You you work so hard. Go get yourself a book and Big Mac and a couple of pies and a couple of cakes and you know just you deserve it. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.